The speaking test on your CELPIP or IELTS exam could be your deciding factor on which exam you decide to take. So check out this video for four main differences between the two speaking tests. Number one, the main difference between both exams is that the CELPIP speaking test is always held on a computer, whereas the IELTS speaking test is always held in person with an examiner. Now there is a brand new computer delivered IELTS test that's fairly new. And a lot of people assume that because it's on the computer that the speaking test will also be on the computer. And fortunately, that's not the case. The IELTS speaking test will always be in person with an examiner, regardless if you're taking the paper-based or the computer-delivered version. Difference number two is the task types and duration. Now on the CELPIP test, you will have eight speaking tasks and they are quite quick between 60 and 90 seconds. The IELTS speaking test consists of three parts and the longest answer will be two minutes. Number three, the timer. Now the self of speaking test has eight very clear questions and each one has a strict timer for you to think of your response and to also speak your response. Now you actually get to see this timer since it's on your computer screen. On the IELTS exam, you do not get to see the timer. The examiner will actually be monitoring that for you and he or she will tell you when to stop speaking. Number four, privacy. When you go to your CELPIP speaking test, you will be in a room with other candidates. Now they may be at different parts of their exam while you're doing your speaking test. And this could be a bit distracting. So when you go to the test, be prepared to be sitting next to somebody else who might be typing or speaking while you are actually doing your speaking exam. Now, on the other hand, the IELTS speaking exam does offer you a lot more privacy and silence while you're taking your speaking test because you're going to be just one on one with an IELTS speaking examiner in a room without other candidates. And that can make a difference in your focus. Now, have you taken either the CELPIP or IELTS speaking test or have you taken both? Both? If so, leave a comment below. We want to hear what your experience was like. And if you like this video, share it with your friends who have their tests coming up. See you soon.